This video is based on introduction to Multism simulation software. This is the circuit window and here you can design any circuit of your choice. As you can see here on the left hand side, this is the design toolbox and on the right hand side there is a column and here multimeter, function generator, watt meter, oscilloscope and many such devices are available and on the top this is the main toolbar now I am going to show you how to design a simple circuit in Multism for this we need to place different components of the circuit so let's go to place component and sources you can see here sources, basics, diodes, transistors and all such options available so go to sources power source and we have AC power source, DC power source, ground but we need DC power source here is the symbol of DC power source click on OK and left click to place the DC power source <coughs> this is 12 volt DC power source you can change the voltage say suppose we need 9 volt power source click on ok and we have changed it to 9 volt DC power source we need some resistors now so resistors are available in basic here we have switch, transformer relay sockets resistors capacitors inductors and many such options available go to resistors and again you have you see so many options so many resistors of different values are available Says so we can also search here suppose we need a 5 ohm resistor so this is the 5 ohm resistor click ok and left click and we have the 5 ohm resistor say we need another resistor of 15 ohm so this is 15 ohm resistor click on ok and place it here and you can see this is the 15 ohm resistor now close it and now we need to where we need a wire to connect these different components so go to place again we have the wire here now connect the different terminals of this component we have connected it now we need a now we need we need to ground the circuit so go to sources and here is ground close it now we need to connect we have grounded the circuit now this is just a basic circuit now suppose we need to measure the current and voltages so we can go to place then components and go to indicators we have voltmeter, ammeter, probes, buzzer, lamp we need suppose voltmeter close it now you know that voltmeter is always connected in parallel so I will connect it this voltmeter is now connected parallel to this R2 resistor now let's check 
we can simulate it by pressing this run option see the simulation has started and the voltmeter is showing that it's 6.75 volt now stop the simulation we can also add ammeter so go to ammeter click ok and this is the ammeter now suppose we need to connect this ammeter to see the current flowing through the resistances R1 and R2 now you know that ammeter is always connected in series so now I will connect this ammeter now the ammeter is connected in series so let's check what the value ammeter gives it's 0.45 ampere so the current flowing between the resistor R1 and R2 is 0.45 ampere you can also use different probes available here like voltage probe this one is current probe to measure the currents and voltages now again stop the simulation now suppose we need to use this multimeter instead of this voltmeter so I am deleting this voltmeter and instead I am placing this multimeter let's connect the two ends of the multimeter so the multimeter is connected parallel to the resistance R2 now let's select voltage it's already selected ok now let's see what value this multimeter gives by simulation again you see here 6.75 volt so the voltmeter also gave the same reading thus you can use different devices to check there are so many devices available here this one is function generator wattmeter oscilloscope you can use it now here you can directly place the source from this option you can place basic diode transistor instead of going to place component and doing and following this way you can directly place from here you can also zoom in and zoom out from these options now like this you can design different circuits and play with this there are so many components available basic transformer capacitor then then again variable resistor variable capacitor potentiometer and diodes are available zener diodes switching diode photodiode led led is a form of diode transistors are again available bjt's and then analog op amp and so many components are available mc this mcu and indicators their voltmeter ammeter buzzer lamp this is the symbol of lamp there are different lamps available here this is RF, RF capacitor, RF indicator and so many components are available here so you can design different circuits and 
it's just so good and we will use different components and design different circuits uh, in our next videos and we will obviously try to verify the different circuit theorems available in our next videos that's it for today thank you Till I get up, time is barely on our side